We have arrived at Spring Ridge Farm. Look how beautiful it is with Mitchie and everybody. Cabbage. Decorative cabbage, it's so pretty. Can you eat it? Probably. These are so cute. Look, I'm gonna buy one on the way out. Pumpkin? Yeah, I'm gonna get real. It's real pumpkin, that's so fucking big. Look at these ones, they're so cute. Well, these are kind of cute. These ones are warty pumpkins. Ew, yeah, good about these ones, knuckleheads. Here's the farmy. Oh, wait, the tractor's singing. Why is he smoking so much, though? So, that was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. Can we do it again? Hey now, what do chicken families do on Saturday afternoons? I do not know what chicken families do on Saturday afternoons. Well, they go on picnics. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Queen of the corn. Come on, jump up. Oh yeah. Whoa, how do you do that? Can you jump up? Made it, Mitch. Hi. They're so. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. I know. If you don't have food, they're like, "Fuck you." Hi, Goody. Yeah. You're so cute. <laughs> Look how his head just like. Goes backwards. Yeah. yeah? Two, one. Whoa. I won. You? Okay, you won. <laughs> Look at them. They're so cute. They're so big. Hi. Let me see. Where is he? Oh. He's uh, sun tanning. Look at those ones. They're like in his little cocoons. You good? That's a big cock. Oh my god. One of the biggest cocks I've ever seen. What the fuck? <laughs> it actually is pretty big. Yeah, it actually is. Look at this one. Holy shit. Back. Oh, what is that? What? In the back. A chicken. That's a chicken? Why does it look like that? Sugar. Look how they just jump up there and just eat their little hay. Wait, there's a chicken in there too. They're going crazy. Guys, look at the view from up here. You can see Saga from here. Bro, they keep playing the same fucking song over and over again. Look at, look at us trying to make it up here. Oh my god, the colors are immaculate. Good job. What is this? Me and you. Yeah, it's actually there's pumpkins too in the back. But I don't know if I can see them. There you go. Pumpkins. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ah! <laughs> wait, wait, let me let me get the one that fell. There's some more in there. Yeah. Okay, wait, you already got some, you already got some. Give it to the babies. Give it to the babies. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> yeah. It kind of feels crazy. Wait, I dropped so much of it on the ground. I was gonna pick it up. They're going crazy. Are you distracted? Yeah, you Smart, got smart. Lots of pumpkins. You in the pumpkin. Hmm. This one? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we just bought an espresso machine. I'm so excited. Look at all my things. Guys, this is my Nespresso. It's the Virtuo Max in the matte black color. It's so nice. Basically, on this side, it collects all the pods that you've used. And on this side, you put water. Then like you just take a pod, for example, you put it down, push it through, and then the coffee comes out of here. And then also this is adjustable, so like you can set it up higher because it's like magnetic. Oh, wait, I think that's how it goes. Yeah. 
yeah, so we're gonna make an iced vanilla latte. Here's my little like coffee corner. I have my matcha here. Um, this one is from Trader Joe's. Shout out Brittany. And this one is from Costco. It tastes pretty bad. Then I have my Monin sauces and my little milk frother in the corner. This is the vanilla syrup that I've been buying over and over. Um, it's really good. It doesn't like actually taste like super vanilla. And I use usually like two pumps if you want to see the macros for this. Like eh, it's kind of a lot of sugar, but it is what it is. And then I also have this one, the pumpkin spice one. It smells really. It it, it does taste good. Um, but yeah, I, I prefer vanilla. I also tried the Tarani syrups, but I like the morning ones better. Now, I like to drink my coffee's ice. Because either way, some of this is going to melt with the espresso. I'm going to take one out. So then this is going to go under here. And see, so you can remove this so that if your cup's a bit bigger. And I'm going to fill that with milk, actually. But first, I'm going to show you. There's my little coffee drawer. I have a bunch of espressos. And then I have, like, these flavored ones. This is like a pumpkin pie one. Obviously, it's not that good. It's like a weird aftertaste. The vanilla custard cookie also has a weird aftertaste. Um, I have like some full cups because my parents you know, want to drink some too. But these are the espressos that I like the best. The Altisio. However, I think I'm going to try this one again because I had it this one the other day. And it kind of tasted weird. And I just want to test and see if it actually tastes bad. So let's see. Hopefully it tastes good. So put that in. However, if, okay, let's say I wasn't using that one, this would be my espresso of choice, the Altisio. If you want a double espresso, this one is really good. The double espresso Chiaro. Okay, then take your milk of choice. I love using Silk, the unsweetened vanilla one, but today I'm using this one. It's eight grams of protein per 250 milliliters. I also use this for my protein shakes because of the protein. So I'm only going to fill it to like where the ice ends, like right there. Actually, maybe a little bit more like that, because I'm also going to put cold foam on top. Okay, now that we have our milk, we have our espresso, what we're going to do, we're going to push this down, put it in the locked position, turn it on. I could have turned it on beforehand, but it is what it is. Fully turns on. All you do is just press the button. And now... Watch as the espresso comes out. sweet cream so I'm gonna put it in here hey sorry if you hear my egg cookie in the background but basically sweet cream and sweet cream cold foam is made of whipping cream like 35% and then milk I just put like roughly equal parts so, so I put roughly equal parts and now you have like two options for this you could just mix this and have it as like a sweet cream or you could have it as like a foam I usually have it as a foam, so today I kind of want it as a sweet cream. Basically, with a sweet cream, all you just need to do is mix it. So to make the cream, it's literally as simple as just mixing the two together. With a spoon, just making sure everything's well combined with that vanilla. And what I'll do, actually, I'll make a little bit of a foam and a little bit of a cream. So with the cream, you literally just pour it in. Can't really see it, but okay, there's a little bit in there. I'll do the rest as a foam. To make the foam, you will need a milk frother. All you need to do is take your milk frother, start spinning it, but you want to spin it like this. Like kind of like on an angle so that you can create like a vortex. 
want it to be like this. Like nice and frothy and thick. And if it's ever too thin, just put more heavy cream. Okay, so that's about done. Okay, this was not the most like aesthetic thing ever. But bro, life is not fucking aesthetic. Wait, look at these like pretty swirls on top. <gasps> look at my shirts. What is that? <laughs> That is so scary. You guys are sitting for a hot table at this event. Hi guys, today was so far like a really bad day because long story short, my Google Chrome profile got deleted and I lost all of my saved bookmarks, tabs, passwords, um, just all my data for the from the last five years. And the process to get it back is literally like almost impossible. I've tried so many different things. So just really sad about that. Now I have to drive downtown to get pick up some stuff from my from sick kids for work. And I'm gonna get myself Starbucks because I'm just very sad and I feel like this will help me cheer up a bit. Let's go. This is like my current desk setup. I'm literally just using like random stuff to sit on and it's like just super cluttered. And I realized like, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this as my school desk, but then I'm going to use my brother's thing as my office. So my brother has moved out. Sorry, let me just uh, open another tab on here. Oh shit, it's not touch screen. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I have this chair, which I'm going to put a pillow behind. I have all of this space that I can put stuff. I have my work laptop and then I have um, desktop thing. So I don't have that much space on the actual desk, but what I'm gonna do is just bring some stuff so that like it's handy here for me. And let's set it up. Okay, so first I put this in. I have these little Kinder snacks, my work phone, this little thing. I wanted to bring these to my other job and like leave them there, but I feel like someone's gonna steal them. Okay, then I'm gonna have, I have these two pills. They're ultra focus please ignore my nails energy packet i'm just gonna keep those there in case like you know i really need them my planner is gonna stay in here so every day i can write down what i need to do a brush because when i'm looking crazy before meetings and deodorant that i don't really use because i don't like this one but i'm just gonna keep it here because sometimes i'm too sweaty i added my airpods i have a lighter for the candle that i brought brought a little spray and hand cream um when i have a little phone stand and here is the candle now i'm gonna put more snacks in here update oh my god what is going on i put up my little light you'll see it better at night um i added another folder bookmark then here's my little snack drawer i need to get more snacks i can put them in here um i also have a pack of ramen so that i don't forget about it I want to show you a little addition I made to my desk. I just added these like wax melts, but I opened them and the scent is so strong that I can like completely smell it. But yeah, I just love it. It's so cute.